If you're a baby boomer, you remember the TV show Green Acres, where a die-in-the-wool city girl moves to the farm with her husband. Of course, hilarity ensues along with canned laughter. Oh, and they even had a pig in the cast. Well, Cindy Carter found a similar story in Eagleville at a place called Lucky Lad Farms. Oh, they've got a star pig, too. Farm living isn't exactly a quiet existence <laughs> when you're living on Lucky Lad Farms. There's just too much to say. <laughs> To see. I found a huge one. To do. Now these will be picked this morning and gone to a market this evening. Jason Ladd and his wife Amy started growing their agritourism business back in 2008. A self-described city girl, Amy says she drew inspiration from her husband's rural upbringing. Come on, pig, 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 pig. And a pig named Charlotte. When we got married, my husband bought us a little potbelly pig. And from there, it just got out of control, really. Very soon, we had goats and sheep and llamas and alpacas and horses. And um, so he told me I needed to figure out a way to feed my animals. This was Amy's solution, a 60-acre working farm in Rutherford County. <laughs> a place where Amy's now extensive animal menagerie is on full display. And growing fruits and vegetables is also part of Lucky Lad's charm. Like my husband, at first, he, he thought that was crazy. He d couldn't understand why people would want to come out and, and experience life on the farm and see where vegetables grow and interact with the animals. But once we did it, it grew very fastly, much quicker than we expected, but it's been a blessing ever since. Hi, Peter Weber's next. Hi, guys. You have passes or uh, tickets? Passes. All right. The farm welcomes all ages, eager to sample the so-called simple life. Most head straight for the popular petting zoo. Which includes the usual farm animal fair, <laughs> as well as a few exotic friends, all lining up for snacks, more snacks, and a little love. Oh, are they sweet? The farm's nature trails wind through Tennessee's terrain and history. There's a farmer's market and store featuring homegrown and locally grown produce and products. And there's a farm-themed playground. There's all types of fun here out at the farm. We have a, a huge playground and all different types of activities, so it really is a, a day destination. You can just come out and enjoy time together. <laughs> No, it's not your typical life in the country, but studies show farms and agricultural acreage are declining in America. The lads view their added attractions not as distractions, but as a smart business move. Farmers struggle these days, and so diversification is key in order to be able to sustain your farm for a long term. Lucky Lad Farms' long-term plan also includes embracing innovation, like this hydroponic strawberry patch, 15,000 plants growing on just a tenth of an acre. It's grown in uh, perlite, and uh, they're fed four times throughout the day through this drip irrigation. It comes down, and then the water filters through, and the roots um, absorb all of the nutrients and water and everything that they would need. The lads are growers who also hope this experience plants the seeds for a future generation of agricultural enthusiasts. You gotta get him wet so we can set him up. Lucky Loud offers several educational programs for young people, like this summer camp. <coughs> Little Dasher doesn't seem to like his bath, but he's reluctantly helping these campers learn how to care for animals. Um, they just get upset with you and then they just start like trying to get out of it. They just home. go, <laughs> We're rich in education for young kids. Most families are four to five generations removed from the farm and they don't necessarily understand how agriculture impacts their everyday lives. Now who doesn't love a baby lamb? Literally, her name is Baby. And while Lucky Lad has a lot to offer in terms of information and education, this is what the farm excels at, making memories like this one. Got a couple. Thank you so much.
from alpacas to ponies, tortoises to train rides. Lucky Lad may seem more like an amusement park than a working farm. But for the lads, it's just their way of preserving a country life for their children, their critters, and a slightly spoiled pot-bellied pig.